Hello, book buddies. This is Miss Evelyn, and he's back. Our friend Pete the cat checks out the library. Pete is going to the library for the first time. The author and illustrator is James Dean. But remember, inside the library, we have to be quiet. Miss Evelyn loves going to the library. Let's get started. Pete's mom is taking him to the library for the first time. The librarian gives Pete his very own library card. Cool, says Pete. The librarian smiles. Time for the tour. She's going to show him all around the library. The librarian takes Pete through the library. There's a big desk where people wait to check out books or return books. Pete sees some of his friends reading at a long table. It's very peaceful and quiet. How relaxing. They seem to be having fun. The librarian takes Pete to her favorite room. There are lots of Pete-sized chairs and tables and shelves. There are books of every shape, size, and color. What do I do now? asks Pete. Now you read a book, the librarian said. Which book should I read? asks Pete. You can read any book you like, said the librarian. Pete looks around. There are so many books. That's why I love the library. Pete picks up a book all about airplanes. Wow, books make your imagination soar. That's what Pete did. He imagined he was soaring through the air. He reads it and pretends he's a stunt pilot. He flies a super fast jet and does loop-the-loops and spirals in the sky. That's what reading does for your imagination. Then Pete finds a book with dragons, wizards, and unicorns on the cover. Wow, that looks like an exciting book. Here's a dragon. He reads it and imagines that he is a powerful wizard and has special wand to defend his castle against a fire-breathing dragon. Next, Pete opens up a book about spiders and insects. He reads it and imagines that he is a scientist studying all types of critters out in the wild. There's his book with bugs. This page of our book, Book Buddies, has stickers all over it. You can peel them off and stick them on your notebook or on your shirt. It's a fun book. So, he has to be very still to study some critters he's still imagining. And very fast to study other ones, <laughs> like a butterfly who moves very fast. Then Pete chooses a book with all sorts of scary monsters on the cover. It's a book of fairy tales. Pete reads it and pretends that he is in a dark, spooky forest trying to outsmart a big bad wolf. Pete puts that book back on the shelf. It's too scary. Look at that wolf. He does look scary. Pete opens up a book about the pyramids in Egypt. He reads it and pretends that he's an explorer riding a camel through the desert. There's his imagination working again and climbing on top of a giant pyramid. There he is using his imagination again. Next, Pete picks up a book with all sorts of robots on the cover. He reads it and imagines that he is a robot and at a robot dance party. Look at him dancing like a robot. His arms and legs are making whizzing sounds when he moves. When Pete the robot speaks, he says, bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleep, bleep, bloop, bleep. That's Pete the robot talking. Next, Pete picks up a book about superheroes. He reads it and makes believe that he is a superhero. There he is flying through the air. 
He flies around the city in a colorful cape, chasing bad guys and saving the day. Good job, Pete. Then Pete spots a big book about the ocean and all its critters and creatures. He reads and imagines that he is a scientist in a submarine deep in the Atlantic Ocean looking for whales and squids and sharks. Look at him down there in the bottom of the ocean. Be careful down there, Pete. There are so many wonderful books to read at the library. Pete can be whatever he imagines with a book. And you can too, book buddies, because reading is super groovy. Yes, it is. Miss Evelyn loves books and she loves the library. I hope you visit your library soon. And I'll see you next time on Storytime with Miss Evelyn. Remember, be a friend, not a bully, and show some kindness. <laughs>